Welcome. Welcome to uh, 3D game development, I suppose. And uh, this is the intro. My name's Blades, and yes, that's why Windows. Welcome to Windows. Windows, I think I'm using Windows 8. I don't like Windows 10. Um, I found it didn't like me either, so... Um, I'm going to be using Windows 10 setup, so don't worry about it. Let's see if we can set this up um, so that it doesn't mess us about too much. I don't want that lot. I want the C. Here we go. Repros or repos. <laughs> Repositories. I haven't got any, as you can see. So we will do a git bash here. There we go. Hello. Hello, git bash here. Um let's get the YouTube stuff, I guess. That's always a good sign. I'll need a password. Will that do it? Oh, there you go. That's all the stuff uh, for Amber SL. I will also need a new repo. I'll just call it game. And again, it'll need my password. Oh, appear to have cloned an empty repository. Ha <laughs> isn't that cool? So, there we go. YouTube and YouTube game. So, you know where we're up to with YouTube. Um, I just need that one, don't I? Copy. So, there you go. Here we have it. This is my new Amber SL. Fantastic, you may say. But, there's one thing about Linux that is really good. It's always consistent. So, I'm going to copy my dependencies to my repo YouTube game. I can, uh, yeah, paste shortcut. No, I just want to paste it. Now, include and libs. I've set it up exactly like Linux. My include has a GL and a GLFW. In GL, I've got my glue. And in GLFW, I've got my GLFW. There you go. And also on the lips, I've got the GLFW3 lib <coughs> and the Glue 32S static lib. So those are the two that I'll be using. That's roughly about it. Um, we are now free to use Amber SL on Windows. I don't need the YouTube one anymore, but I'm going to keep it around because I might just have a look at the manual. <laughs> so on the YouTube, I'm just going to get test and it's main because that's the only thing there. I'll just open it with notepad. So I've got my manual. Uh, get that out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So I've got the dependencies, I've got my glue, my glfw downloaded, and uh, I've just down downloaded the binaries, and then split them into that setup, quite simply. Not a problem. Let's have a look what we've got here. Nothing. Yes we do. We have amberskies at amberskies.org.uk. Click on the GitHub code, and let's have a look at what we're going to do. Under Qt3D development, which is slightly different language, but based on C, uh, we have the big snake. And we have all the source code for it. So we've got core, game, game rules, game world, physics, and rendering. You know, like graphics and start and windows. And, well, we've already got that done. So this is what... <coughs> This is what I am trying to do without my throat giving up. Instant coffee time. Close tabs, please. Thank you. Mm. Is this going to open? 
Ah, yeah, here we go. So, LibreOffice, yeah, available for Windows, not a problem. And, uh, cancel, cancel, I think I did that a few times too many. And close. Oh, did I just wreck it all? Yeah, I just wrecked it all. Let's try it again. Thank you. Here we go. So, what that boils down to uh, under Qt3D development, um, which is on GitHub, is this. It's got a main, it's got a source um, directory, which has the game CPP in it. I've missed logic. Hmm, interesting. So game logic is here as well. Oh well, never mind. Uh, game logic. I don't see PP. Yeah, we'll have that in. I'll just save that out. So we have the game logic under source. Under the core, we've got the input and the model loader. Under the world, we've got map, player, goals, and map edges, which I probably won't bother with because I haven't got the model for it. Uh, physics, move player, big one. That is possibly the only place where you might learn something. Um, input isn't going to be needed because we've got the window. Model loader, we've got, so core's out. It's so nothing to do with core. We don't need to do that one at all. We've already done it. Um, world, player, map, play, yeah. Uh, goal, yeah. Move, play, yeah. Graphics, again, a biggie. Init window, don't need. Start screen, don't need. Uh, FPS count, don't need. So there's a lot of this stuff that we don't need. Ah, there's logic. Game logic. Oh, it's put in there, is it? All right, then. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. You didn't do that bad a job, Blades. There we go. So that's the kind of thing that I am... Um, that that um, program gives us. This kind of structure. I think we'll probably follow it. We'll probably follow most of it anyway. Which isn't too bad. Now, what we're going to use... Uh, Visual Studio 2017. There you go. Mm. Newly updated. Uh, I have downloaded Qt. I've gone to the tools, uh, get tools and features here. Yeah, okay. Oh, great. It's now thinking about something. I've pressed the wrong button, obviously. Typical of me. What is it thinking about? Opening a silly window? Yes. No, I don't want the installer. Go away. Extensions and updates, please. Thank you. So, let's see what we've got here. Tools. Uh, online updates. Run. Yeah, okay. So, online. Type in Qt. Hit return. Okay. Why is it acting so weird on me and being stupid? Godfathers. Online. Search for QT. There you go. QT, Visual Studio Tools. Green tick. Already installed. Install that. Once you've installed it, go to the bottom, go to the options. Uh, and just add, you can call it anything you want, but give it the path to your QT, I'm on 5.11.2, MSVC, 2017, 64-bit. It's as simple as that, that's the path that I've got. I put QT on the C drive. Okay, so we've got QT. Open the profile. Let's try it. So I want my reparage, please. There we go. YouTube game. Amber SL. 
which is this is roughly what I did in the setup for Amber SL in the first place. Um, so far, it's just the same. I made the profile using Qt. Um, I've obviously on Linux I've built the full thing, but this is the same process as uh, starting up Amber SL. There we go. It'll read it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on master YouTube game. Thank you. Team Explorer is good. Uh, branches. YouTube game. Yep, yeah, master. Thank you. There, here we have it. Okay. All the header files. I shouldn't do this. Solutions and folders. All right. Okay. Fine. Be like that. I need to save the solution out. What am I going to call the solution first of all? Hmm. This is the game project, isn't it? So let's call the solution. Hmm. Not sure, really. I actually haven't thought about this. Hmm, YouTube game, I guess. Yeah, okay. Call it YouTube game. Underscore. Okay. So, solution. Rename. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Because this is you. Cube. Underscore game. There we go. That's that. And I need to save the solution. Save you so the YouTube solution as I want it in that directory because it matters. Where you put your solution matters a lot. I want it in the same directory as um, Amber SL and Depths, but it's got to be in the same directory as Depths for definite because I'll show you why in a bit. Well, I'll show you why now. Now that's saved, we can start altering the properties of Amber SL. The last thing I want to think, well, run Windows 10. There you go, Windows 10, window. I'm going to do this for Windows 10. I can change that to Windows 8 if I want to. I just go over here and put Windows 8.1 in. Simple. It's your choice what you want to do. Uh, I'm not too bothered, really, how you want to do it. Uh, this debug is going to go to... Uh, let's see now. I'm going to do this properly, the output directory. So if I put dollar open brackets uh, and I'll put project directory close brackets that gives me that and then I just put exec in yeah and the sl exec the exec because that's where I like to put things. I want everything that it does to go into that directory, including the intermediates, because we need the we're doing a static library as it says here. You see, it's already picked up on most of these things. Target name is Amber SL, that stays the same. Target extension dot lib, nice. Project defaults, no problem with that. Debugging. Doesn't look too bad. Working directory. Yeah, we've got the right place. And I've just made an idiot of myself because I need to copy that again now. I've left it on the wrong thing. All configurations. I won't be doing all configurations, but to be honest with you, 
it's how I usually or should do it so normally check your on all configurations and then make all the changes because it saves time later uh, debugging yeah target project yeah okay VC yeah those are all right C++ here we go let's have a look general additional include directories yes please so let's edit this and see what it's given us so same file generated files generated name blah 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 and of course the make specs for msvc i'll add one please and i would like that under dollar that's going to be solution directory close brackets depths and backslash and include i did make it a large one did i in hmm should really check you know <laughs> and it's hidden it there we go let me just check that it's depths and then large include and libs is plural okay i'll just keep that up for a sec so that's correct and it comes up here it tells me what it evaluates to so that's okay we'll add that one additional hash using directories none that i know of debug information format no 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 warning level don't care well i should put it to level four i suppose Warning version diagnostics, yeah, that still checks. Nothing else in there. Optimization, don't really care. Preprocessor, ah. Yes, there were. And it was hidden, wasn't it, into one of my other thingies. So let me just go back to YouTube. I'll show you what I'm doing. VS Code. Um, properties, I think it was. Open my notepad. Under notepad, you'll see that there's a couple of defines here. Use math defines and glue static. We need to add those. So I'll just pop that over there a minute. And dump. dump. It's looking better. You see, I got my solution. Right, let's put these defines in. I'm going to use the edit again. Uh, just down the line, please. Hmm. That's a lovely coffee. Um, so use math defines. So it's all straightforward, really, so far. It's just remembering all the stuff you've got to do, which unfortunately with Windows is an awful lot. Whereas it was a bit easy before. That's it, glue underscore static. So, yeah, we're okay with that now. Yep, yeah, that's good. Um, ah, we might have to do some of that. Right, okay, code generation, don't care. Language, pre-compiled headers, yes, please. Not using, comp yes, thank you. Output files. Yep, yeah, okay. Na, 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 na. Librarian. Here we go. Additional depend additional library directories. That's where your libs come in. So it's additional dependencies and library directories. So I can edit that one. And that's going to be dollar solution directory and then it's going to be depths uh, then it's going to be libs is it a capital l i'll just check youtube no wrong one come on and capital L I put there and that's L I 
FPS, and that's all I have to put in there. So that's okay. Additional dependencies. We need all our dependencies, which are interestingly blank, which are actually in our profile. She's not showing. <laughs> oh dear, it's it's a list of the libs. So what we got? We have. Uh, edit. I always use this edit screen. It's I find it much easier. Uh, GLFW likes to come first, doesn't it? So GLFW three dot lib. Uh, that's that one. And next we'll have glue thirty two s dot lib, and we have an extra one which is open gl32.lib which is stored within Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, that's one of its own libraries. It gives us that because then it can read the drivers properly. That's Visual Studio for you. Express, yeah, okay. Anything else I need here? Not that I am totally aware of at this time. It's just general, and then all, and then that. Okay, apply. Okay, we've got the debug option. So what I'm going to just try and do now is build it. Build solution. And we've got a couple of warnings which we cannot ignore. So it succeeds straight off. Oh, great. But we do have this warning here. Output package, isn't it? Oh, right, okay, that's my fault. Sorry. On the general tab, the quite right, I didn't put a slash at the end. Apply. Okay. Uh, rebuild solution. There you go, succeeded. Lovely. Straight off. No, not a problem. So to our solution, we are going to add a new project. Windows console. And we're going to call this game. And it's going to go into C repos. Is that correct? No, it's not. I want to add it to this solution. <sighs> Can I add it to this? No. Ah, wait a minute, I've just realized this is Microsoft, isn't it? Sorry. Close your solution, close down everything and restart. I always forget about things like Microsoft. Make sure it knows where you are. It comes up here as a proper solution now. So now this is a proper solution. I should get all this details up now. Branches. Yeah, YouTube Game Master. Thank you. Uh, that looks to be coming through properly. I'm happy about that because that's going to save me a lot of time on uh, saving out to Git. I don't want to use Git Bash for everything. This still isn't doing what I'm expecting it to, so I'll pull it out a bit. Pull it out. Ah, there it is. Show all files. There's my exec. There's my library. Yeah, that's all the garbage it makes. There's there's the actual thing we're after. All the minuses on here just mean they're not stored. Uh, on the GitHub thingy, majiggy. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, something you might want to do um, is have your don't put things on GitHub thingy. <laughs> it's under YouTube. Yeah, I've got Git Ignore already started, so I will copy that as well. May as well. 
it's there for me. Otherwise, you just have to start. You do, you have to use Git to start one or I think Studio will do it on one of its options under the Git screens. Uh, so that's done. That gives a lot more my less minuses. Oh no, it doesn't. It just doesn't care, does it? Fine. Uh, release we don't need. Delete. Debug we don't need. Delete. Our source we do need. Lovely. Uh, everything else is okay. That's fine. Right, so that's built. Now I just need the game. So can we add a new project? Not an existing one, a new one, please. See, it's changed the location just by restarting the game. Uh, sorry, restarting the application. It doesn't pick up on things sometimes. You've just got to watch it. So I'm going to call this game. That'll do. And it's a console application. It has to be a console application because I want a console. There we go. Are you going to give it me a lot? <laughs> Not responding. Yay! Oh, come on. I don't want all day, you know. Right, I can see straight away we've got a PCH dot H. That's got to go. Game, game, game. Can we show all files in Swell, please? Right, that's what all the files there are. So the first things I want to do is delete that. Delete. Delete. I don't want to use them. So I've just got game. That's all I should have as a file. That's a good start. Now, first thing you've got to do is set this as your startup project. You then got to add a dependency, no, nope. add reference amber sl. Okay, yes, you've got to reference amber sl first of all. You've then got to Gold build dependencies and it's under project dependencies. So game depends on that. Build order is Amber SL game. That's correct. It's got to be in reverse, and the dependencies are looking good. So we have our dependencies. Okay. Uh, I want to add new folder that's why I clicked it over ah didn't tell you about that yeah this button here it'll show all these stupid things here which you can delete because these are not uh, fil the filters not folders completely useless to me I just want the folders I can even take game, put it back into game, so the source files, delete, I don't like it, I just don't like it, so, but, we've got everything else done, it won't pick up on it until we restart, let's do the properties, now the properties are going to be virtually the same, uh, I did want to have that folder, didn't I? I just got distracted. New folder. And it's called, believe it or not, exec. And I also want another folder. New folder, which I'm going to call source. Here we go. Because we will need one this time. It's not going to be like um, anything else we've done. If you... You don't need the source folder if you're just doing the. Uh, where is it now? You're just doing this bit. I mean, if you're just doing that, it doesn't matter because that's just your tests and stuff. Which I can use as my uh, 
reference pad. So back to here. Edit. Solution directory. No. What? No. Uh, yeah, we'll have dollar project directory. And then it's just, so that's gone into game. And then it's just exec. And then we need that trailing slash thingy. Okay. All configurations, yep. Copy. Paste. Project name, target name, yep, exe. Uh, so we're going to call this game.exe. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Uh, could put something else in there, couldn't we? This is generation one of uh, Amber. No, I'm not going to mess around with that. Uh, I don't care about anything else there. Uh, headers, headers, headers. Not sure. Okay, we'll apply that and we'll see what we need as we go. That's the only thing I really want to change. Um, should be okay for now. Here we go. Wow. Let's see if we can do a hello world. Let's see what we get. Unexpected end of file when looking for precom file header. Did you forget to add hash include PCSH? Oh, I forgot to delete it. So preprocessor precompiled headers use lol not using apply this is how we find out what we need okay it's compiled and if we run it Hello world. Fantastic. There you go. We started already. <sighs> Thank God for that. Right. Let's have a display window. So I'm going to take my main for theirs. I don't like theirs. The one they've given us is rubbish. So I'm going to copy that across. I'll replace their main with mine. There we go. We know what it does. It just tells us what we've done. So if I run it now, it'll build game and it'll tell me that the argument number one value is it's executing game. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. And it confirms everything. Thank you very much. You're very kind. You're very kind. Ga the, um, windows but there we go we've started that this is not right yet trust me we have not done everything yet it still will not accept what we want I'm just getting rid of the rubbish so if i now hash include and i want to include display and it's backslash. I use backslashes. I shouldn't use backslashes. Yeah, I should stuff them. This window's tough. Uh, display it was uh, window 3d.h. Can it find it? No. So we need an additional include directory. Properties. Under C++ General, Additional Include Directories. Yay. And that will be, I'm not even going to put this one in because it's dot, dot, backslash, backslash. Uh, then it will be Amber, SL, Source, SRC. I think it's SRC. SRC. Right, apply. 
Okay. Are we okay now? Don't know. Well, SRC is there. Display is there. And Window3D.h is there. Okay. Put it on the wrong space, didn't I? Sorry, one up. We go, I've got a window. Lovely. Let's try opening a window. So it's going to be Amber. Oh no. No 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 no. Uh, <laughs> no, let's do using namespace. I'm only gonna do it for this one actually. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to, I've decided, no, I'm not going to use it at all. I'm not going to cheat at all. So it's Amber, S, L. No, it's just Amber. Colon, colon, display. Colon, colon. Uh, window 3D. Yay! You see, it's all coming up nicely. We'll call it Window. We'll be original. Um, I'm going to have it uh, very small to start off with. 400 by... Uh, God, no, let's call it something first. Uh, game. There you go. Comma, 400 by 200 by something or other. True, I think it was. Yeah, we'll have that. Uh, yeah, perspective projection. All right, that will open a window. Don't blink. Ah, this is better. Cannot open glue, GLFW. Cannot open glue. Okay, there we go. That tells me that window is using that lot because it initializes everything, remember? And that game has no access to them. Well, of course it doesn't. So let's put the uh, little ones in, shall we? And that comes under linker and header. So let's do header first. All configurations, general. And it's semicolon. Dollar open bracket solution. EIR close brackets depths. Backslash. And it's include. There we go. So that goes in there. Under linker. Don't need a semicolon at the end, do I? Just press return, hit apply. Let's head over to the linker. General. Additional libraries. It's that list of libraries again. So we did. <laughs> Come back to me, list of libraries, where have I put you? Oh, I'll shut the thing down. List of libraries are in the C directory, repo. In YouTube game, depths, libs, there they are. Okay. So, list of libraries is glue 32s.lib, semicolon. Spell it right. Uh, next one is a G L F W three dot lib semicolon open G L thirty two dot lib so we can use open G L properly. All right, so we've got the libraries. We'll apply those. Uh, we've added those, so we're going to have to also add the other things uh, which was under c++ preprocessor directives preprocess options ah. 
they are different, aren't they? Debug console, you did the preprocess definitions. No, I don't want any of this. I just want my own, really, don't I? Okay. Use maths. Can't remember it. Math defines. Is it just math or math defines? I'll check it in a minute. I'll just check that. Repose YouTube VS Code. Use math defines plural. D E F I N E S. Yeah, semicolon. And we want glue underscore static. Because now we're using those. Apply. Uh, we also needed something else here, don't we? Do, 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 general. Additional library directories. And that is dollar open brackets. So solution B I R uh, depths and then it's just libs. There we go. Apply that. Okay that. Rebuild solution. Version glue thirty two dot s dot lib syntax error on linking version. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Never heard of that one. I've done something wrong. I don't think, I don't actually don't think we need, uh, that's static. Version. Oh. Linker general input additional dependencies. There it is. The top, so that's a dollar. Sorry, a semicolon. Go back one space and complete. And there we go. Apply that. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. That's what I was looking for. We get conflicts. Now, you may not know about conflicts with these default libs. Um, Microsoft Visual Studio adds default libraries um, so that you get things like printf and stuff like that automatically. What two of them conflict totally with what we are doing? So we are going to have to um, no default library them. How do you do that? Uh, let's have a look. Can close that. Go to game. Properties. No. No, what's it doing? Oh. Sorry, mate. Properties. There's your error list. So this is on the linker side, if I remember rightly, it might be. Could be on this one. Ignore standard includes, no. And that just undefines. Language precompiled headers output. So I'm looking for uh, what what it adds. 
automatically show up on debug. Okay, that's your debug information. Okay, that's all right. Optimization. Yep, preprocessor. There's our definitions. Yeah, code generation. Runtime library. Multi threaded. Yeah, okay. Okay, language precompiled headers were taken off, haven't we? Yeah. Output files don't care. Linker general. There's one where we can suppress these. No, it's not in there. Input. Ignore specific default libraries. There you are. So all you do is you copy out lib cmt semicolon msv crt so we need to ignore those specific libraries otherwise we, we hit warnings this warning here about the pdb vc120 i haven't got a version of it i have to ignore this it's a warning that i can't get rid of uh, that's nothing to do with me that's the way that they distributed the glue.obj when I picked it up. Uh, you might have the VC120 PDB for it, but I haven't. If you compile it yourself, you won't have this problem. I didn't. I just downloaded the binaries because I'm lazy and I don't care that much. There we go. So now if I build rebuild solution, we should be down to that last one warning. Let me copy it's going cold. There you go. That's it. It now works. Let's run it. Don't blink. Did you blink? We opened a window. <laughs> See how easy it is. What? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Wow. Good, eh? Remember, I haven't stopped it from closing. Ah, oh, bless. You do love this. So, we can get on with staff now, can't we? Well, yeah, really. We can. We can do anything we want. Um, game. Game, game, game. Mm. Yeah. We could start the game, but that's a bad idea because we know that I've set it up now. I just haven't put that last line in that stops it from the bottom. And I'm not going to because I'm not going to use it at the end of the day. Because the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to write uh, our game module or our game loop in source. There we go. That's it. It's all set up. You know what we're doing. Uh, we're going to make that snake game. Um, that is the setup for Windows. Now you know why I didn't start with this and I went straight to Linux. Um, because it's, it's in my mind to actually start with a warning that you can't do anything about without messy, like rebuilding something. Whereas Linux, it comes with pre built you know, it comes with its own, all, all, the, all the stuff is correct straight off the bat. If I want to update this, I now have to go back onto the internet and download fresh binaries or download fresh code and re rebuild it. Really? That's a bit much. Yeah, that's why I don't uh, do my development on this system. I'll write a game for you and I'll use this system to do it. It'll be a nice little game. And we'll be happy. I'm not using that. Yes, I am. Uh, okay. Catch you in episode one when we start to program a game. I think that was uh, quite cool. We got it all done in uh, a lot less time than I expected. We did all of that in 49 minutes. Hmm. Good luck. Take care. Have fun.